in the previous video i have explained that how uh, what is a priority encoder and how does this work so let us just try to implement that i have directly written the expression for the priority encoder for a 4 cross 2 priority encoder we are doing here so this is a 4 cross 2 priority encoder we are trying to implement here so you can check out the previous video the, in the playlist so to know that how the priority encoder works so we'll just implement this so first what i need all the components i'll take then i'll try to implement this so what i need first i need or gates a two input or gate is required okay and then i need and gate why because to implement d1 into d2 dash i need a and gate also so here i'll take and gate okay and then to find d2 dash i also need a not gate so i'll take a not gate here okay and then what i need i need the digital switches so interactive digital switches and from this i need four so let me just zoom out little bit i just copy this and paste so i need four i'll paste it for four times and this one i'll change the label to according to us that is d0 then d1 then d2 and your d3 okay so this one i have written next first we will implement your a1 d2 plus d3 so here d2 is there so just connect it to this or gate so this is d2 plus d3 okay this output is what this output is now a1 next output is d3 plus d1 d2 another or gate i need so i'll just copy paste it the or gate here so this output is d3 again same d3 i'll just take here so this is d3 and d1 into d2 dash so d1 into d2 dash will be finding out with this and gate but before that i need to find the d2 dash also so for that i will just connect this to d2 and one output to the and gate it becomes d2 dash and then d1 into d2 dash so this one will also be connected to the and gate so let me just keep the or not get little bit down okay so d2 will be connected here now this one will be connected to the output now we will take a probe here so what kind of probe i can take i can take a, a red or green or blue whatever color i want okay so let us take a blue for uh, a1 and a red red for another we'll be taking okay so this one is for this and uh, i'll take another blue one here okay so a1 is the below one so this one i will connect here and i will rename the rename this as a1 so this will be your a0 okay and this is connected here fine so my all the circuit connection are done let us try to simulate it so if i simulate it now let's say the input is d0 is equals to 1 so according to that output should be 0 0 okay now d1 is equals to 1 so output is now 0 1 a1 is 0 a0 is 1 so output is 0 1 so it's working now if i make d3 then both should be 1 so both are 1 it is also working but we made this to check the condition if both multiple inputs are 1 so if d2 and d3 both are 1 still it is representing a0 and a1 as 1 1 that means it is representing d3 if three inputs are one also then also it will represent three but i if i make d3 is equals to zero then what is happening here you can see the output is a1 is one and a0 is zero that means one zero one zero represents two or d2 
similarly if i make d1 and d0 only so it will just take d1 it will not take uh, d0 into consideration right so this is how you can uh, create a um, priority encoder a 4 cross 2 priority encoder using multi sync and in the previous video you can check out i have explained that how this uh, how this uh, particular boolean expression is coming okay so uh, thank you